The supercar market has been booming for a while now, so it wasn't really surprising when we started seeing supercars turned into cop cars. It's happened a number of times over the years, giving wealthy police departments access to cars like the Maserati Gran Cabriopoli and nearly the entire lineup from Lamborghini, with the most recent being the Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4 Polizia. That sure didn't take long, either. The point I'm trying to make here is that there are plenty of performance cars rocking police livery. As it turns out, the list of performance-based police cars has just gotten a little longer with the Alfa Romeo Giulia QV being the newest model to make the conversion. Surprisingly, however, the QV Carabinieri isn't going to be used as a traditional cop car. According to the recent press release from Alfa Romeo, a total of two models have been converted and will be primarily used to transport things like organs or blood during medical emergencies. Outside of that, its duty will be to serve as an escort car during different police ceremonies. Even with that being the case, the July Carabinieri will still be decked out with all the latest and greatest police gear. That said, it may not be chasing around criminals anytime soon, but it will have the gear to do the job if need be. So, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the July QV Carabinieri and what went into making the conversion. What makes the Alfa Romeo July QV Carabinieri special on the outside? There isn't a lot of difference between the July QV and the Carabinieri version. The car features the same fascia and body design as the production car. There have been new LED flashers added at the top of the innermost fence on the fascia. Furthermore, the traditional police-issued LED light bar has been added to the roof. Other than that, the big news on the exterior is the police livery. There is a red stripe on each side of the hood that comes to a point before shooting outward along the top edge of the headlight. Plus, the word Carabinieri is written along the forward edge of the hood in white lettering. On the sides, Alfa Romero added a double red stripe that runs from the rear to the front. Those stripes eventually merge and come to a point on the fender, just before the headlight lens. Down below, the Carabinieri logo has been split between the front and rear doors with the police department logo at the end. To the rear, there is very little to talk about. Two small, blue LED flashers have been added to the rear deck light on either side of the license plate recess, and the Carabinieri logo has been applied to the rear glass just below the roof. Obviously, the livery is there to perform a simple purpose, and it does exactly that. On the inside, there isn't anything super special to discuss. It does get the standard police equipment like preparation for a radio system, portable cooling units, and a defibrillator. There is what appears to be a Samsung Galaxy tablet installed on the passenger side of the dash, presumably for the Odin system the police department uses on the fly. There is also an LED flashlight installed to the armrest of the front doors, providing easy access to officers if they happen to need supplemental light. The press release that accompanied the debut of the special QVs were said to support the storage of a long gun in the cockpit however, the pictures don't lend any hints as to where it would be located. As you can see from the included images, those are the only few differences between the police department rig and the production QV. Here in the US, police cars are sometimes tuned to deliver more power than the production models they are based from. But Alfa Romeo has remained silent on whether or not the QV Carabinieri got any special tuning before delivery. That said, let's be real about it, the July QV isn't exactly an underpowered slug. Even if it isn't tuned, that 2.9-liter biturbo engine delivers 510 horsepower and 442 pound-feet of torque. So, even without tuning the organ racer can still hit 62 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds while achieving a decent fuel economy on top of it. From the look of things, the car also comes with a 6-speed manual transmission, so the badged man behind the wheel gets to row his own gears too. For what it's worth, 
The police department isn't just going to throw just any donut eater into the driver's seat and hope nothing bad happens with all that power on tap. Instead, a certain number of officers will be specifically picked and trained by Alfa Romeo instructors on the circuit of Aragno di Ligari before they get to officially take the helm in the real world.